Hello, my name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, and today we're going to talk about digestive distress. Do you know that some of the most abundant medications that are used in our society today have everything to do with digestion? And you know, you are not only what you eat, but you are what your body absorbs. And there is a lot of interesting information about digestion, so I want to give you my insight from my over 35 years of practicing. What I have found is that many of you have digestive distress because you end a meal with fruit. I don't really promote fruit at the end of a meal because what's going to happen is that that fruit's going to ferment on top of the food that you just ate. If you are going to consume fruit, I would prefer that you do it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach and maybe wait a few hours or at least one hour before you're going to eat some other items because you want that fruit just to clear the system. Now, what I have learned, and I'm seeing this on a regular basis, individuals over 40 years old don't usually have enough digestive enzymes in their stomach. And so what happens, they might go to their well-meaning healthcare provider and they might put them on a medication to stop acid. So let me share something with you. If you don't have enough acid in your stomach in the first place and you're eating food, that food is going to putrefy or could ferment and it's going to create inorganic acids. So you're having a lot of digestive distress because the food that is being processed in your stomach is creating distress. So what I have learned is that so many of you maybe consume a lot of refined sugar, now listen to how I'm going to word this to you, which takes B vitamins out of your body. Your body uses B vitamins to help make digestive enzymes. So that's really important. Do you cry easy? Do you have sore muscles after exercise? A feeling of a little bit of paranoia? Those are body signals to me that you may in fact need some B vitamins. B vitamins help promote the function and creation of digestive enzymes inside of your body. I would encourage you, if you're going to be consuming water, which I want you to drink water, Drink water 20 minutes before or after a meal. I don't think it's a really good idea to drink a lot of fluids with your meals because what it's going to do, it's going to dilute the already lowered amount of acid that's in your, your stomach. So it's going to cause some digestive distress. And here's one final thought is some of you right now have an issue with gluten. Gluten happens to be found in rye, wheat, oat and barley. And gluten for some individuals could actually cause massive colon digestive distress. But so many of you have gluten sensitivity. So when you eat the gluten, you could have other body signals, including some digestive challenges. But you know what gluten really does? It coats the inside of your intestine walls and preventing the absorption of nutrients. So give me, let me give you a few drugless action steps. Minimize water with your meals. I would not eat any kind of fruit at the end of a meal. Do it first thing in the morning. And finally, try to go gluten-free for three months. I know your digestive system and your digestive system will be pleasantly surprised. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor.